My patients with gout have told me it feels like their big toe is on fire. If you've dealt with gout, you know that the flare-ups can begin with sharp burning pain, usually in the big toe. In this video, I'm sharing with you six life-changing home remedies for gout that are proven to work. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kim. I've been a holistic podiatrist for over 30 years now. Many people think gout can only be treated with medication, but in fact, gout is primarily caused by imbalances within the body, such as water intake, sleep, and exercise. Be sure to stick around until the very end to see all of my gout home remedies for fast and proven results. Let's get right into it. So let's uh, get into six home remedies for gout. Now, I wanna talk briefly about the six, and then I'm gonna go into the medical treatment for gout in case you have too much pain you have to come see me or other doctors for this problem so that we can treat that in the office uh, but i'd like you to try the holistic home remedies first uh, before you get to the doctor <laughs> so let's talk about that first one is hydration you are dehydrated most of us uh, have a dehydration problem and you're not alone if you have gout that means you're not eliminating all the all the uric acid through your kidneys that means you're not taking enough water so hydration is a big problem alkalization is another huge problem this is probably the, one of the biggest problem is that our body is too acidic we take a lot of things in, uh, inside our body is very acidic to begin with because we're just not healthy when that happens your body produces a lot of uric acid and then it does not eliminate it so it keeps a lot of uric acid in your body and then you take a lot of food that has high purine or uric acid then you're going to have a gout flare so it's important for you to alkalize and how to do that all the time so you don't have to worry about eating certain things that may flare up the, your gout. Now, next one is supplements. There are a lot of supplements that are really, really good for your gout. So we're gonna talk about that. And then the exercise. Exercise is really important, why? Because it alkalizes your body. It makes your body move. Everything works better. You're gonna be drinking more water. Everything will be more hydrated. More metabolism will be improving. So you, overall, your health will improve, which will help the gout flare up at, at the same time. Stress and sleep. You cannot leave out stress. A lot of people are stressed. When you do stress, guess what? Your body becomes alkalized. When you're not getting enough sleep, your body becomes acidic. acidic. So it's very important for you to rest and, and be less stressful and then have a better sleep at night, which will all help uh, to decrease the, the chance of gout flare. Also, your, your weight, when you increase your weight and you have a diabetes, they also increase your uric acid production naturally and it can cause more gout flare at the same time. So we're gonna talk about how do we uh, take care of these issues uh, holistically at home. But in case you don't get better, then you have to go see a doctor, right? So let's talk about three medical treatments for gout. First one is when you come see me, first thing I'm gonna do is give you some medication because it's emergency, basically. It's, it's very urgent. Uh, so it's very important. Thank God you had this problem during the day and you call my office and you came to see me. But if you this happens at nighttime, you have to go to the ER or urgent care, right? So thank God because now you came to see me. So I'm gonna give you some very strong medication. Now these are no joke, these are very strong medications because my goal is to get the pain away, get the inflammation away as soon as possible. So I give you Indocin uh, uh, twice a day, very strong. I usually recommend uh, my patients to have Indocin with them all the time in case you get a gout flare up while you're traveling, where you go somewhere, you, you don't have access to medical care. This is the medication you need because once you start feeling this gout coming on, then you start taking this right away, then you may not have a gout flare up or you may have it but it's not gonna be as strong. So it's very important to have Indocent with you all the time, okay? This is your emergency medicine. Now, Colchris is another one that's really, really strong, and it's much stronger than Indocent even, because you have to keep taking this until you either vomit or you have diarrhea. That's how strong this medicine, and that's when you stop. So, but it's very strong. I rarely use it because, you know, I have other ways to treat this problem, but I usually have people have Indocent with them. Also, other pain medication may be necessary. Uh, chronic disease, if you have a lot of this problem all the time and it, you just can't get rid of it, then you take allopurinol or euloric. They work on your kidney to allow the uric acid to get uh, eliminated uh, better. So these are the medications that you may use or your primary doctor may put you on this, these medications. And hopefully you don't need it because if you're doing the holistic treatment to get your body more alkalized, then you may not need this medication, but you may. Next one is injection. When you come see me, this is my main thing. I'm gonna give you medicine to go home with so you can keep taking the medicine until next few days, until everything calms down, but you may need either cortisone or tromil. 
they both work quite well. If it's really inflamed and it's, it's, it's crazy like painful, then I use cortisone. I don't like cortisone that much in your joints, but this is one time I use it to quickly get rid of pain because that's why you came in to see me. So that's Tramil, we talked about the herbal injection that I use, it's very powerful as well. It's a little swollen, but not extremely painful. Then I use herbal medicine, which is my preference, but sometimes it's so painful, so red, and so incredibly just unbearable that I have to use cortisone sometimes. But it's very effective. Right after the shot, it's like immediately pain goes away and you can keep it up with a few days of um, uh, Indocin that usually takes care of the problem. But uh, sometimes uh, this is so painful, you cannot, any kind of movement can cause problems. So I either give you a boot and sometimes I have to put a cast on it to really immobilize the area because then you don't want any movement because movement causes a lot of pain. Let's get into the holistic treatment that I would like you to try first. If you start feeling this coming on, or you need to live like this all the time so that you don't have this flare up all the time whenever you're having some beer. It always happens like a July 4th weekend. The week after, I see a lot of gout patients come in because they were barbecuing, right? They were having barbecue with really a lot of heavy red meat. On top of that, they're drinking beer all day long and then it can really flare up the gout. So I really like you to hydrate first. It's very important. You have to drink half of your body weight in fluid ounce per day. If you weigh about 200 pounds and about 100 fluid ounce, which is about six bottles of water, you have to drink that every day to really flush out all the toxins, flush out all the stuff in your kidneys. Your kidneys trying to get rid of all the stuff through your urine and you need to really do that daily basis. Okay, you need to increase your kidney function. And this is very important, coffee. <laughs> I drink coffee too. Coffee is really actually good for you if you just don't put a lot of junk in it. Coffee itself is natural. It does a lot of really good. Um, but coffee actually works to decrease the amount of uric acid production in your body. Let me repeat that. Actually, coffee is good for you for your gut. So it actually works against that enzyme that produces purine to uric acid. It prevents that from happening. So it's a very powerful way to reduce the amount of uric acid is to drink coffee. Next one is alkalizing. We talked about alkalizing your body. There are many different ways to do it. And the first ways to do it is the food. Juicing celery is probably one of the best things to do, not only for your gout, it's really good for your blood pressure problem, cholesterol problem. It literally cures with so many different problems. Celery is probably one of the best things you can juice on a daily basis. Really, really powerful way to alkalize your body. Tart cherries, we talked about eating about 10 tart cherries every night. There are a lot of medical journal articles touting the effect of taking 10 uh, tart cherries every night to prevent gout. And also lemon also helps to alkalize your body. And then you need to avoid all these things. Seed oil we talked about, vegetable oil, canola oil, soy oil, a lot of vegetable oil you need to stock. Fructose, a lot of, a lot of uh, fructose corn syrup or a lot of soft drinks, a lot of things that are made of fructose, your fruits too, you have to be careful. A lot of grains also. And we talked about alcohol and beer and wine. You have to really reduce the amount that would alkalize your body a little bit more. And then you also read, uh, eat uh, potassium rich food. There are fruits and vegetables, obviously, you have to take it easy on the fruits a little bit, but more vegetable, Brussels sprouts and broccoli. But we talked about asparagus and then a cauliflower and then spinach, not good for you, right? Those are high purine ones, so you really try to, they, they look really good. They, they look like a really good, like spinach seems to be really good food for your alkalis, but actually it has a lot of purine, so it doesn't belong to this particular group. And then you use a lot of healthy oil rather than vegetable oil. You're gonna use avocado, coconut oil, olive oil, and the macadamia nuts has the most amazing amount of combination of good oil. And then pecan, omega-3, you need to take that as your supplement. Very, very important to alkalize your body. And also with herbs, there are a lot of great herbs that does it, celery and ginger, dandelion, cinnamon, milk thistle, rosemary, hibiscus, turmeric. These are really powerful agents to alkalize your body. So these are the herbs that I like to take. I take every one of these every day. So it's really, really important to alkalize your whole body. Next one is a supplement. There's a lot of great supplements. I can talk on and on about supplements. I have another a video on my YouTube channel about the supplements too, so you can watch some of that. But vitamin C and D's, uh, very important. Quercetin is an amazing immune system builder. Also, it's an amazing supplement to help you tamp down the inflammation. Uh, luteolin and potassium citrate, we talked about that. The pills that you can take, baking soda, you can mix it in the 
warm water and drink that to really quickly alkalize your body. Magnesium, excellent. It does more than 600 different reactions in your body. Very, very amazing uh, thing you need to be taking every day. More than 95% of the people in the United States deficient in magnesium, which is a devastating problem. Causes all kinds of cramps, all kinds of other issues. And then estrocentin is an amazing thing that uh, only discovered like a few years ago. Uh, it's, a, it's very powerful, one of the most powerful antioxidants. Uh, it's 600 times stronger than um, you know, other antioxidants such as vitamin C. So astaxanthin is a very powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and it's amazing for uh, uric acid level. Apple cider vinegar, uh, you take that in the warm water and it's a little bit yucky. You can, yeah, I, I personally take it, but it's yucky to take the, the, the fluid. So I uh, get capsule form and I just take that, which is really, really good for your diabetes and metabolism, weight loss, and it does so many different things. Apple cider vinegar, krill oil, bramolin, these are amazing supplements you can take to really tempt down inflammation and help you your calorie flare up. Exercise, we talked about exercise, high intensity interval training. It's a very intense training, but it really brings out really good hormone, strong, uh, you know, uh, powerful like a growth hormone, uh, strength hormone that comes out. So it's really an important exercise. Uh, there's another video that I talk a lot about this, so you can watch my other videos about this. Stretch, uh, strength training, I really highly recommend uh, building your muscle uh, to balance your water and balance your sugar a lot better. You need to build muscle. I know a lot of people do uh, a lot of aerobics, which is really, really good for your heart and your other systems, but you need to build your muscles because that's the most important thing. That's a storage area for your water and your sugar. So you need more storage in your body to be able to fight all the, all the acidity, all these other issues that you have. And then there's a lot of great stretching you can do to really improve all of that circulation, all the uh, inflammation will be tamped down at the same time. And then now you need to decrease uh, stress and increase sleep. Now, I need to say any more about the stress. There's a lot of stress that causes inflammation. Uh, one of the things that I really recommend people doing, it's called the earthing. It's called grounding. When you see the plug against the wall, there's a three plug. There's one at the bottom one that's called the grounding. That's electricity flowing. You're really grounded. If not, you'll be electrocuted, right? So what we do is we have a lot of electricity flowing in our body. We need to drain all this acidity and electricity out of the brain, out of your body by walking barefooted on the earth, like on the grass, on the beach. When you do that, all that gets drained out and it all then neutralizes a lot of acidity on your body. So it's a, it's an amazing thing you can do on a daily basis. If you live near the beach, go to the beach. If you have a park, go out there and go barefooted, walk around. I know you look a little funny, but it really helps your uh, balance uh, the whole system. So really important. And then obviously, uh, getting more sleep, getting better sleep will be excellent way to go. I have other videos talking about uh, my sleep pattern, what I do every day also. So you can look for the video to watch that at the same time. And then lose weight and control diabetes. Now, one of the most important thing about all of this, losing weight and controlling diabetes is one word, well, two words, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. When you starve yourself for a long period of time, daily or weekly or monthly or yearly, if you do a lot of the fasting, then it empties out a lot of the sugar in your system, which causes your inflammation and, and uric acid to come, out, come about because it causes a lot of acidity in your whole body. So it's very important for you to do the intermittent fasting. And there are other videos that I made about this as well. So you watch that video, it's very important. Go research, do more. Just tell me if you wanna know more about it. I can do a whole video on intermittent fasting and the way, way I do it, that way it works for me. But it's really important to do this, to lose weight and control your diabetes. And then your diabetic diet and exercise, obviously exercise is very important. We talked about that already. But when you do your uh, fasting properly, when you eat in a proper manner, proper things, but also proper timing of uh, a cycle of fasting versus eating and doing it the right way, your body would love you and you're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna reduce the amount of uric acid. You don't have to worry about drinking some beer, hacking some, uh, taking some uh, beef and you, you're out barbecuing, you can eat all of that. You will acquire your food freedom if you do all the things that I just told you about. Even small everyday changes such as increasing your water intake, getting more sleep and exercise can make a biggest impact on your gout flare-ups to ensure they're gone for good. For more educational foot videos like this one, check out my next video. Until then, get educated, be empowered, encourage others today.